In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at some tips for fitting photos to the music when you're creating a slideshow. We have some slides in our media room that we've taken from a mission trip, and let's take a few of them and put them randomly here into a project that we're going to transform into a slideshow. So I'm just going to take five or six of them now and drop them into track number one. And now these will be the basis for my slideshow. I've highlighted all of them and I'll click on the slideshow button above my timeline. We have several different kinds of templates that we can use. We'll pick the montage for now, but now we need a song. So we're going to click on the music symbol with a plus and that will set some background music. I'm going to pick uh, the one simply called Produce and click on Open. You can go anywhere in your file system to find the music file that you want to use. Now, it would be nice to know how long the music is. I'm going to click on Slideshow Preferences and I will do Fit Photos to Music. That's the focus of this tutorial. So the photos are going to be inserted into the music the length of the music will determine or dictate the length of the project when you click on this button. How long is the music? Well, if I click on Music Preferences, it pops up this screen and it tells me the duration is 3 minutes, 9 seconds, and 14 frames. It will allow me to trim it and make some other changes, but I do not like this trim function here. I like the precision of doing it a different way. We'll show you that in another tutorial. But the important number to remember here is the duration of the music. This is how long my slideshow will run. So it will run over three minutes. And then when I go ahead and uh, click on the next button, it will go ahead and create the slideshow. Now, if you look carefully at what we had, we have six slides. Let's see what happens when we play this, uh, I'm going to turn the music off here uh, with these six different slides. There's one, two, and three. And there's four and five. And then the template brings in number six. And then we start all over again. So what happens if you have fewer slides than the length of the music, and we're only 19 seconds into the project right now, it will automatically repeat until it gets to the length of the project, which happens to be 3 minutes, 9 seconds, and 14 frames. So we'll cancel that out. Let's go ahead and say, OK, if it just recycles, once I'm finished, uh, until I get the, to the length of the music, what happens if I have more slides than I have music and choose this option? So we'll select all of these again, and we'll click on Slideshow again, and we'll use the same option, and we'll and uh, I need to add music before I can use the button. Let's use this other song here click on open and do fit photos to music again. Again, the length of the music will determine the length of the slideshow when you do this. But if I click on music preferences, now I've chosen a song that's only 17 seconds long. I'll click on OK. So let's use the next button. It will go ahead and build the slideshow. And if I look carefully, it looks like I have, what, three, six, nine, ten slides. I've got 17 seconds worth of music. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, it didn't use all of them. Let me click on the next button. Here it says I imported 10 photos. I used nine. One of them was not used. This is an important thing to remember. 
because when you use this particular technique and make that choice, we'll go back to our fit photos into music. If you have more photos in that template to be processed than you have music, then some of them will not show up in your project because again, the music when you choose this dictates. Now, having said that, there's something else I uh, want to remind you of. Different projects will process photos at different speeds because they have different kinds of timing. Let me choose the cell option here and make sure we're still on fitting photos to music. And then I'll click on next and it will create it. Now we're going to go ahead, I think I'll turn the audio on here, and we'll play it. Let's click on Next. Now we find out that with this particular template, the photos came on the screen fast enough in the 17 seconds that it imported 10 and used all 10. So there are a couple factors you need to keep in mind, but the big one to remember is that when you choose fit photos to music, it's dictated, the length of the program is dictated by the length of the music. And we'll get into a different tutorial on how to edit that if you want to but I would do that before I begin the process. So that's a little bit of a tip on the fit photos to music in CyberLink PowerDirector when creating slideshows. In another tutorial, we'll look at fitting the music to the photos and what the implications are when you use that particular option.